just finished Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone, by the way. And now we are like full swing in the holidays. So sometimes what happens in the holidays and during this Christmas time is people think in their mind, ooh, my business is going to slow down. I'm going to slow down. I'm gonna just like chill until like January. No, 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 my friends. Here's what you wanna do. You wanna use the remaining 33, 34 days in the year of 2016 to set yourself up for 2017. So let's talk about how you're gonna do that. Well, one of the things that happens, especially during this time of year, is you get invited to more parties than you even know what to do with. You got your entire weekends booked. You got all different kinds of things going on, whether it's a, you know, a, a, a something around Thanksgiving, whether it's a Christmas party, whether it's a social from work, whether it's something new that, you know, some friends are like, hey, come on over, we're gonna have a get together. Um, it may be, you know, New Year's Eve kind of thing. So over this next 35 days, you're gonna be invited to more social gatherings than you know what to do with. Now, you wanna use this as an opportune time, right? To go there, have your radar up, go to as many different things as you possibly can that can get you in front of new people. You wanna expand your circle of influence. One of the things that I hear from networkers all the time is that they don't have enough people to talk to. They're like, okay, I went through my warm market, now what do I do? <laughs> There are people everywhere. Unless you, you know, live and work in a lighthouse somewhere and you come out like once a year. <laughs> um, there's people everywhere. As soon as you walk out your front door, there are people, right? So here's a time when, you know, we have all these different social gatherings. We have the opportunity to meet new people. We have stores that are jam packed with all different kinds of people, right? And so it's a great opportunity to work up your prospecting skills. Now, uh, a couple of days ago, right before Thanksgiving, we talked a little bit about prospecting aligns. Today, we're not talking about that. Today, we wanna talk about what do you wanna do in a social setting. So, let's say you are invited to a Christmas party or a New Year's party. How are you gonna use that as an opportunity to build your business, right? Take things to the next level. Well, obviously, you're there to be social. You're there to hang out. You're there to have a good time. You're there to mix and mingle. So go ahead and do that. Try and meet as many different people as you possibly can. And during that time, your goal is really to have meaningful conversations with those people. They may ask you, what do you do? Now, some people may think this is the time where they have the open door and they're like, oh my gosh, you asked me. I'm going to tell you all about it. And they just like go to town. No, my friends, that is not what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is our goal is to really connect with that person, especially if you think that they're an ideal candidate for your business, whether it's, you know, hey, they could be an awesome team partner, or perhaps maybe you think that they would be a great candidate for whatever your products are. Either way, what you wanna do is you wanna make the conversation a lot about them. Why, okay? Have you ever been with someone and you're like, oh my gosh, they were so cool, they were so awesome, and when you really sit back and think about it, you were the one that did most of the talking. <laughs> have you ever had that experience? If you have, throw up a one, go ahead and put something in the comment section so I know you know what I'm talking about. Typically, who do, like to people, who do people like to mostly hear about or talk about or be in conversations about? Other things or other people or themselves? Guys, I know you know the answer to this. Of course it's themselves, right? So if, if, if people are mostly concerned about what's in it for them, um, you know, they like to talk about themselves, they like to talk about their family, they like to talk about their passions, whatever it is, open the door for them to do that. Be the type of person that when they leave that party, they're like, oh my gosh, they were so cool. Did you talk to so-and-so? Because they were so cool. Now what's hilarious is you'll find that you let them do all the talking. And you know what, are you okay with that? Are you okay to make a friend, let them feel amazing after leaving your presence? Well, that is exactly how you want to do it. Have you ever been with someone and you know, you just felt like, oh my gosh, that was so great. And they let you talk. Well, allow them that same opportunity. So what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and let them talk, let them express themselves, let them just share whatever they wanna share about. Just strike common interest. Make it your goal to connect with that person. Then at some point, you wanna throw out there what it is that you do, whether it be, you know, hey, you're expanding and you tell them a little bit about your business, whatever it is. You wanna remember, hey, I wanna get their contact info before the end of the night, be it a Facebook connect, 
or their phone number, right? Now, a great way to get their phone number is you say, hey, I'd love to stay in contact with you. Um, and just pull out your phone, hand it to them and say, hey, go ahead and put your contact info in. And then you can say, oh, by the way, are you on Facebook? Why is that good? Because Facebook's kind of like the new business card, right? Like you don't have to necessarily have a card for someone. You can just connect with them on Facebook. Now, what's really cool about that is if you have good things on your Facebook wall, people will look at it, right? And it says everything for you without you having to say it yourself. So you have this incredible conversation, you get their contact info, and then you move on. And let's say you follow up in, you know, 24, 48 hours, 72 hours, a couple of days later, you know? And then at that point, you can call and reconnect with them. Hey, I had such a good time talking with you at the party. Hey, this may be way out in left field, but you know what, right now, we're currently expanding our business and, you know, just curious, would you happen to keep your options open of, you know, something else to make a little extra money before the holidays, um, you know, if it didn't interfere with what you're currently doing? And they may say yes, they may say no, or they may say, what is it? Now your goal is if they give you any positive feedback, if they give you a yes, or if they give you a what is it, say, awesome, hey, listen, love to get together and we can talk more about it, what's your schedule look like? And go right into setting your appointment. So guys, those are just a couple of quick one, two, threes on what you can do to, to build your business during this time of year. Remember what you do during this last 35 days or however many days there are in the month of, in, in 2016, is gonna set you up for 2017. If you wanna come out the gates in January with a bang and just be you know, set for the most incredible year, then you're gonna be planting the seeds. You're gonna put your harvest in the ground now. You're not gonna wait until January 1st to start launching your business. You are in pre-launch mode as we speak. And of course, if you are focusing on running for rank this month, you're focusing on closing out the month strong, then you need to be knee deep in that at this moment. That's what I've been spending most of the evening working on is my closeout numbers, connecting with my team, talking with them about where they're at, where their goals are, and how we can help them accomplish it. So guys, I hope this was helpful. Definitely feel free to share and pass this on to other people. Now, one of other things that's another additional tool that you can use in your tool belt is not only be out there using those Christmas parties and different things that you're invited to, but wouldn't it be great is that instead of having to go out there and you know canvas to meet new people, if those people are actually coming to you, would you like that? <laughs> if you would like people coming to you, let me know. <laughs> Put a yes in the comment section so I know you're totally with me. Well, I have something that can definitely help you accomplish that, give you more details on how to actually get people coming to you. If you click on the link that's listed in the description, it's gonna take you to a page that's gonna give you the opportunity to get a free download. And basically what that is, is different things that I've done using social media to attract people to me. We've sponsored all different kinds of people that have come into the business with us. We've had a ton of people get on our product. And you know, it's just a great way to, to leverage your time. You know, isn't it awesome if you can work from home, being your jammies and have people like, hey, I wanna hear more about this. And you're like, uh, let me tell you. <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. So click on the link, enjoy the free download. And that is it. One other thing is if we haven't met before, love to totally connect up with you. So send me a private message and uh, love to get a chance to meet you and to hear your story. So